this video has been requested so much over the last two three days and so if you could hit subscribe it would really mean a lot and anyways enjoy the video hey what's going on guys it's your boy here glowstick back with another video and today what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be showing you guys how you can make slash commands in discord.py once i've like once like some people start doing this and i mentioned it you guys really wanted this on my server and if you don't want if you don't know what slash commands are are it's like slash right and then my bot project low already has one it's let's say ping right we're gonna be doing ping in this video and it sends the slash ping and it's like a cool way of doing it right lots of have instead of just doing like oh no like this a regular command it's slash it's pretty cool and i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do it in today's video so first when we start off uh we want to import a uh, actual module which is going to be called discord underscore slash but the import way is a bit different if you're on repel go to the shell and then type this in as i do or else it will not work so you want to do pip install and then what you want to install is discord dash py dash slash dash command just like that and then wait for it to do its thing while it is doing that we can actually import it by doing from discord underscore slash import slash command currently the dpy library does not have support for slash commands so that's why we are using this once it does gain support we will be switching it over just to let you know and now there you go now that's in here and it finished we can go here and let's just create actually no first before we do that we have to create a client event here and that's going to be called slash equals slash slash command client or if you have bot then pass and bot and then keep sync commands equals true and yeah this will get the thing started and then here we can code our command now it's basically the same besides for this so do slash dot slash and then pass in description and now this can say like shows the bot's latency i probably spelled that wrong but it's okay and then we can just create it if it would like if it was just you know a regular command so do async def ping and then pass in ctx and then do await ctx dot send dot send f and now we can do like bot speed equals i have string this round dot actually not round round and then open up parentheses client dot lay latency times that by thousand and then do ms and that should give you the bot ping but before we run this there is something that we have to do in here in my thing you want to go here and i already have something called bot dev right go to the developer applications right here make sure you're signed in and then go to your bot so the current bot that we're working on is called drone so it's right here and what you're gonna have to do is click on the auth o auth tool and then click a bot and then over here where it says applications commands click that also once you click that you can give whatever perm you want click copy and then we can get rid of this we're gonna need to kick Drome and then invite it back so i'll do that using the new authentication token okay so Drome has been added back as you guys can see here and it has i use the new authentication token meaning it has you know just the ability to actually create slash commands now that we run this and once Drome comes online you can see that how it is okay so Drome has came online and if you just do slash Okay, so uh, I fixed up my code. Not really, because there's actually nothing wrong with my code. Uh, 
because these are slash commands and this is integrated with the DPY library, it takes a bit of time to integrate. But now, if we do slash ping, it shows up I have many ones, but we're going for drones. So, when we do slash ping, it says bot speed 49 ms, and then there you go. That's basically all it is. It works, and you can add other commands, right? So, avatar, like. It, well, everything like that. If this video does really good, I will be doing part two on how you can do like choices and stuff. Like, if you do choose here, how I had second, first, third, stuff like that, I can show you guys how to do that also. And yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, um, it will be appreciated if you can hit subscribe. We are literally one sub away from 230 subscribers. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Till next time, go scout. See ya.